Hello everyone and welcome to episode 5 of 9 in 9 with Coventry City. Today we travel to the MK Dons in hopefully what's going to be a pre-Christmas cracker. We'll also take a look at the data hub and we'll take a look at the league table as it stands going into this one. Don't forget if you enjoy this content please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel. And also, don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Let's take a look at where we are in the season. So we haven't played any games since we were last together. That 5-3 win over Sunderland, a massive result for us. And probably the best game we're going to have of the season today is going to have to go some to catch that one. Let's take a look at the Data Hub, shall we? Our first trip to the Data Hub since taking over at Coventry City. So goals per game, we are doing very, very well with that 2.33. The expected goals per game is 2.09. So we're well above that. Conceding, obviously we conceded three goals last time around, but we've been doing really well with that. Less than a goal a game at the moment. Shots per game, 18.5. Very, very good stuff. Shots on target, 44%, nearly 50% shots on target, hence why we're scoring so many goals. Pass completion rate, nearly 90%. Tackles won, that could be better. Obviously, you can see the League 1 average in the middle there. We are just below the average of tackles won, so we need to get better at that. But very, very happy with the data hub so far. As we move on to the league tables, so the Papa John's Trophy, we have got Charlton left to play in the group stage, so we should be able to get through that. Oxford United are coming up in the FA Cup first round. I would have preferred someone a little bit easier, but there we are. So we are currently nine points clear at the top of League One. We are having a tremendous season so far. Still unbeaten. The only unbeaten side left in the division. Look at the goal difference. 21. It's far superior to anybody around us. Derby are the closest next one and they are 10 goals behind us already. Sunderland and the MK Dons have got 25 apiece. Obviously, we are playing the MK Dons today. Derby are closing in on the two in front of them. They have 24 points. Oxford have got 23. Bolton have got 22. Sheffield Wednesday have got 21. So we're already 13 points clear of the side in 7th place. We've done very, very well. We've got to try and keep the train going, though. That is the big thing at the moment. Peterborough and Lincoln have got 19 apiece. Cambridge and Charlton are on 18, with Plymouth completing the top half on 16 down at the bottom. Where Fleetwood are bottom of the table on 7. Lake Norian are above them on goal difference. They have 7 as well. Northampton and Morecambe have got 8. Gillingham and... Bristol Rovers have got 10, Wickham on 11, Accrington, Wimbledon and Salford on 14, with Rotherham and Wigan completing the bottom half on 15 apiece. So, we focus on the top of the table today. Can we extend our lead to the two chasers? Let's take a look at the teams. So here are the two starting lineups for this one. Milton Keynes start with Fisher in goal, Kessler Hayden, O'Hora, Darling, Harvey, Kasumi, O'Reilly, Graham, Kashmir, Malt with Issa up front. We start with Moore in goal. Hamer, Williams, Masterson, Manning, Mighton, White, Allen, Waghorn. Callum O'Hare with Matt Godden leading the line. Obviously, after their defeat to Derby last time around, the MK Dons will be looking to bounce back. We will be looking to carry on as we've been going. We are doing tremendously well. Can we pick up another win on the road? Hope so. Want to keep this unbeaten run going for as long as we can. That is not a good ball forward from Masterson, though. Throw in to the MK Dons. Harvey with it. Picked up by Mighton. Trying to get away from his man. Hamer. Plays it across into Allen. Looking in for Waghorn. Waghorn's in space and he's found the back of the net. Great start. Not even two minutes on the clock. And we lead by a goal to nil. Jamie Allen with a great ball in behind. Look at this pass. It's a good pass from Hamer into him. He's got so much space to pick his pass out. In behind the defender, Martin Wacker rolls it in the bottom corner, 1-0. Even a faster start than what we had at Sunderland. And we know how that ended up. Throw in, Manning with it. Throws it into Allen, into Waghorn. Manning again. 
Get it into the centre, is he? Allen might have another go. He swung one in towards the far post. Might and heads it towards goal over the bar. Goal kick. Fisher with it. And the MK Dons lay a glove on us. Not with play like that. Oh, here. Going wide into Hamer. Back into Williams. Onto Allen. Oh, here. Out to Mighton. Back into Hamer. Williams again. Patient build up from us. I like to see Masterson going wide into Manning. This is where we'll click into gear when we get into the middle third. Allen looking in for Manning up on the inside, looking for Godden. It's not a good ball. Darling back to Fisher as he sends it down the field. But we are going to field it again, not putting any pressure on us at the back. And that is very dangerous to allow us just to come out like this. Masterson into Godden. Round into O'Hare, looking for Waghorn. Through again. Is he going to get there, Harvey White? He almost does. Harvey gets it away. Free kick. Allen's going to take it. Waghorn's going to take it. Williams is going to flick it on. Anybody there? No, O'Hara heads it away. O'Hare picks it up. Keep it alive. Waghorn. Will he get a shot away from the angle? He might get a cross into the centre instead. Looks for Mighton on the far side. Plays it back into Allen. It's very elaborate. I'll give him that. Allen going back into Manning. He's just toying with the MK Dons at the moment. Let's put them to the sword. Come on. Masterson. Plays it back into Manning. Will he find a cross into the centre? He will. Low road. Waghorn. Saved by Fisher. Free kick. Hamer's going to take it. Swings it into the penalty area. Headed over the bar. Oh, we need that second goal, boys. Come on. I know I should just be settling for what we have. But we have dominated the first half. We should be more than a goal in front. They are capable, the MK Dons. They will play better in the second half, I'm sure. And that is half time. MK Dons nil. Coventry one. They have had a shot on target. We didn't see it. Look at their XG compared to ours. We need to ram home this advantage if we can. We certainly deserve to be more in front. Yep, yeah, I'm going with that one. We do deserve to be more in front. Let's ram home this advantage, please. O'Reilly. Back into Darling. Zumi. Looking for Malt. Put it inside. Hamer trying to make a late challenge. That was very late. That was like six weeks late, that one. Kasumi. Into Tazimir. Isa. Round for Harvey. They started the second half better than they played in the first half completely. It's behind for an early corner. More attacking intent in 30 seconds than in 45 minutes. O'Reilly with the corner. Can we get it away? Looking for O'Hora at the far post. It is headed away by Williams. Will we pick it up? Uh, Matt Godden is on Graham's tail, though. Go on, Matt. There we go. Let's have a look at a change as we approach the hour. Because we've got a few tired players out there. Most of these guys played against Sunderland last time around, don't forget. So O'Hare's going to come off. Chabello's going to come on. Sunderland lead by a goal to nil. So they will still keep second place as it stands. The gap will open up to the MK Dons as well. Charlie Brown is coming on. Not that Charlie Brown. Not from Snoopy. Right, let's have a look at a couple of changes with 15 minutes to play. We are racing towards the end of the game, folks. And Martin Waghorn is going to come off. Jordan Shipley is going to come on. Liam Kelly is going to come on for Harvey White. And we press home our advantage in the last 15 minutes. I'd like to think so. But it is a throw-in for the MK Dons. Tazmir into Boateng. 3-0 to Sunderland now, so they are definitely going to stay second as it stands. Back to Darling. As Mia. He's a darling again. They're playing a lot higher up this half. They're trying to look in behind, but Ryan Manning should easily deal with that. Are we going to go the other way? Allen. Looking for Godden, but it's intercepted by O'Reilly. Brown goes for a shot from distance. Ball with a catch. Free kick. Shipley's going to take it. Will he find the back of the net? He will! What a goal that is from Jordan Shipley. That is the game. Fantastic free kick. 25 yarder. Oh, hello. Look at this. Bends it. Goalkeeper. No chance at all. 2-0. Game over. Venice, they've hardly laid a glove on us, the MK Dons. Not been the pre-Christmas cracker I was hoping for. But three points are three points, right? We come into four additional minutes. And it's an easy away day for us. We like easy away days. On the pull to goal back. It's not going to do anything for them. Hamer into the penalty area. It's headed away. O'Reilly will pick it up with the MK Dons looking to break forward. Three against two at the moment. The players are coming back. Hoskins. 
Are they going to trouble us on the scorecard? Hayden. Let's across into Boatang. Looking for Hoskins. Alan, thank you very much. Just passes it straight to him. Goodness me. Passes them back into Moore. Moore sends it down the field. Matt Godden chases after it. He does. He chases everything, does Matt Godden. He's a very, very good forward in this division. That's a near. Can he find a cross into the centre? He will low road, but it's cleared by Williams. Clean sheet looks like it's intact. And there it is. Full time. NK Dons nil. Coventry City 2. We'll take games like that all day long. So let's see what it's done to the league table. So the gap remains nine points at the top of the table. Sunderland beating Bolton by three goals to one. So the MK Dons lost to us. Derby lost as well. They lost away at Charlton. Sheffield Wednesday are the big movers. They are into the playoff places after their win at AFC Wimbledon. Fleetwood had a big result at the bottom of the table. They won 2-0, so they've moved up a couple of places, as you can see. And Leighton Orient at the bottom on seven. Northampton have dropped a couple of places as well. Bristol Rovers have moved up a few places. They beat Northampton by four goals to nil. Wickham have jumped a few as well. They had a good win over Oxford. Salford up into mid-table after their win over Rotherham. So let's take a look at what we're going to do next time. So what we will do, we will take on Cambridge, we'll take on Bristol Rovers, Bolton, Oxford and Charlton and we will come back for that trip to Pride Park to take on Derby. It's worth noting, we have won nine games on the bounce in League One. We are flying at the top of the table. Is anyone going to stop us? On current form, I would suggest probably not, but we are bound to have a wobble at some point. So we will come back in the middle of November for that game with Derby County. Another one of the sides that you expect to be up there at the end of the season. But for the sides that are there currently, obviously we played Sunderland last time, MK Dons today. We have nothing to worry about at this point in time. It's going to be self-implosion if anything else is going to stop us getting promoted back to the championship. But fingers crossed that doesn't happen, of course. Don't forget, if you enjoy this content, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. And as this is the last video before the big day, I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Hopefully Santa brings you what you want. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.